So you've seen how to create a, a flowchart by using a pre-made template that serves up some pre-made task-specific shapes, but sometimes you just need to get a quick and dirty sketch out onto the page. And one way to do that is just to start with a blank drawing and not use any template or shapes at all. So we've started our blank drawing and we have no stencils open, no shapes to drag. So the question remains, so how, how, how do I get anything on the page? And the answer is just to go up here into the Tools area on the Home tab and click this drop down where you can see Vizzy's got some very basic drawing tools. Rectangle, ellipse, line, and pencil are the most inter interesting ones. So let's click on the rectangle and on the page you just click and drag opposite ends of the rectangle and there you go, you've got the sh shape. Since it's selected we can start typing and we'll just say this is the title of my sketch. All right, we click away and say, well, that's kind of boring, so let's just use these font controls over here. This is very simple, uh, similar to any Microsoft application you might have used. Make it bold, make it italics, over format it. We can change the fill line and shadow of this, but let's just quickly change, choose a, a, a red color. Uh, if you don't want to use this, if you're way down on the page and you get tired of mousing back and forth, just right-click the shape and there's a kind of a subset of the formatting controls. Again, it's all fairly standard stuff. It's pretty easy to figure out how to change the line, the fill, the shadow, and the text of a shape just by looking at the user interface. Maybe we'll give it a, a color here, a little bit darker red or maybe a dark blue kind of pat matches the read a little bit better. So we can add another rectangle and maybe we'll call that idea one. And we get click away. We switch to ellipse. We want something idea two. Maybe it needs to be round. We can create another shape by using the line tool that doesn't have to be square or round. And with the line you just start by clicking and dragging and just keep dragging points around as you go and just make the beginning and end match up and you have a shape and like any other visual shape if it's selected you can start typing so this is idea three if you want <coughs> something a little bit more curvy you can use the pencil tool to do straight lines or as you drag you can gesture out these curves which is kind of interesting. So you can, the faster you go, the less curvy it is. And you can always go back to the point and sort of restart the curve and make it really curvy. And really curvy. And you can finish with a straight line if you like to. And try to get those to match up. So now we've got a very, very strange shape for idea four. So we could start formatting them. I'll switch back to the pencil tool and I'll just give this uh, some crazy colors maybe like that Heck, let's just even give it a shadow if you like this formatting you can click on the format painter broom icon up here next to the clipboard paste and copy controls and then with that shape selected I've got my broom and I can say make idea 3 look the same as idea 2 if you want to add, let's see, if you want to zoom in a little bit, if it's hard to see what you're working on, down in the status bar we've got a control here that lets you get in a little bit closer. If you don't like the text on this, just double click it and you can say idea 4, maybe hit the enter key to add a new line. So there you got that. Text a little bit bigger, text a little bit bigger. Okay, we can move the scroll bars here. So well, maybe maybe idea one and idea three are closely related so we can use the connector tool and we wait till the the highlighting shows up you can see there's kind of some red highlighting i click and drag to some other shape that and when i see the red highlighting there i let up and now those shapes are connected you can see as i drag them around they stay connected and maybe idea one is connected to idea four as well There may be a particular part of the drawing that is of interest to me, and uh, we can get the freeform tool and just quickly drag a crazy outline around that. You can see it's on top of everything, so we can go to send backwards or click the drop down and say send to back. 
the auto size page has added a little bit more paper. I don't really want that, so I'll move the shape back and the, the page shrinks again. And we can just adjust that a little bit and adjust that a little bit. And since this is a highlight, let's give it a big thick red line like that. So right here, this little icon to the right of the zoom is the fit page to current window button. If I click that, I can get back a quick overview of what I've created. And there you have a very simple sketch using Visio's basic drawing tools, complete with connectors and full set of formatting features, just done in just a couple of minutes without using any pre-made shapes or templates.